This afternoon, Casey Anthony's lawyer is calling it a search for the truth. Two key witnesses are being questioned in the case against Casey. Officers from the jail and sheriff's office are testifying about Casey's reaction when she learned her daughter's remains had been discovered. Channel 9's Mark Boyle is live at the state's attorney's office. And Mark, you spoke with Jose Baez this morning. That's right, Barbara. He spoke with me right here before walking into the state attorney's office. Jose Baez has been interrogating the Orange County Corrections Officer now for nearly two hours. Casey Anthony's defense attorney, Jose Baez, walked into the state attorney's office in downtown Orlando ready for today's depositions expected to last several hours. Baez began questioning Orange County Corrections Officer Tammy Unser this morning. We need to get to the bottom of everything that occurred in this case. And that's really the purpose of the depositions and everything that we're trying to do. In an interview, Unser described Casey's reaction the day Kaylee was found dead on December 11th. Her hands started to sweat. She started rubbing them profusely. She was in um, moist chains and um, handcuffs, and she kept saying the moist chains are getting tighter and tighter. I mean, please loosen them. Furthermore, the corrections officer says Anthony appeared to be hyperventilating. Baez is doing all he can to prepare for Anthony's murder trial set for October of this year. We're in May. And we're talking about four or five months down the road. There's a trial. It's going to take time, if you notice, to litigate the matter. I mean, we don't have a court date till the end of May. And about an hour from now, Detective Philip Graves, the man who interviewed Unser, will be deposed here at the state attorney's office. We'll be here when he goes in. We'll have much more beginning at 5 on Eyewitness News. For now, reporting live at the state attorney's office in downtown Orlando, Mark Boyle, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.